You are protected. Did you know that God watches over you for good and not for harm? Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. God has protected you physically. Many times as you've been driving, um, you should have gotten in an accident and you didn't. Um, there are many times in your life that you don't know about that God has actually physically protected you from harm. Now, um, as I was taking the course, um, You Are a Masterpiece by Alicia, that's an art course about who we are in Christ, there was a, an art project of this uh, beautiful angel, and it's from Psalm 91 that God will um, protect us from all harm. Now, if you are a woman who has been brutalized or raped or harmed in some way, and it wasn't your fault at all, because um, I was, for example, I was serving the Lord, I was teaching, I was a teacher at a Christian school, bringing to life God's Word for children. I was not walking in overt sin. <clears throat> I was living a life of purity. Um, and I loved Jesus, and out of the blue, I was brutalized by a complete stranger. So, how is God a protector? So I thought to myself, does God really protect us? Now there are lots of scriptures that say that God does protect us, but I asked the Lord, I, I put that art project on hold for a few months until I processed it, until God showed me the truth because um, I, I want the truth. I don't want just some sanctimonious um, cliche uh, that isn't actually true. Um, and first of all, God showed me that he protects our souls, okay? So no one can snatch our soul out of God's hand. Um, <clears throat> I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. John 10, 28. The fact that no one can snatch us out of God's hand means that the safety of our soul is guaranteed. If we belong to Christ and are wholeheartedly serving Him and you know that you're His, no one can take that away from us. Okay, so our soul, no matter what's happening to our physical body, our soul is protected by God. So that's the first thing, is our soul is protected. <clears throat> Secondly, God does protect you physically all the time. He doesn't protect you from absolutely everything. Um, in my own life, God has shown me that even though I felt abandoned by God, God was actually in me, Christ was in me, and He experienced my pain with me. And so there is no one who knows you like Jesus. He also transforms those brutalizations somehow into a beauty and depth of soul. For example, um, I counsel women and uh, I bring them, God brings healing to their lives through me because God has healed me on every level of my being from the brutalization. So what I'm saying is that God heals. God is a restorer, a healer, and He can bring beauty out of ashes. And that is the truth. And so um, sometimes when you've walked down a dark alleyway um, and no one attacked you and there was somebody there and they saw maybe some people walking next to you that weren't really there, those are angels. I have heard so many stories of um, God protecting people physically. We can call out to the Lord to protect us. Um, there are lots and lots of scriptures which I will list on my blog post. Um, it's called You Are Protected. It goes with this blog post right here uh, with this video. So I'll link um, in this video, I'll link to the blog post that has all the scriptures about how God protects us. We can also cry out and claim those scriptures for ourselves and then God can, um, God does protect physically. So God 
comes to our rescue and protects us physically, yes. Now, occasionally, our outer shell is harmed in some way, but then God promises that all things work together for our good. God promises to turn um, those ashes into beauty. And I've seen it in my own life, all the most horrific situations that have happened to me, and a lot of things have happened, a lot of pain and horror and sadness and everything in my life that I've had to overcome, not just one thing. <clears throat> Each one of those things God has used um, and turned around in a beautiful way to give me a whole treasure chest full of jewels and um, the depth of character that I have, the things that I understand now that I could never have understood before. There's rich wisdom. There's uh, a greater capacity to love that I have. And I wouldn't trade that for anything, okay? If I could go back in time and uh, uh, for now to give God permission to, to um, allow something like that, I would because of who I am now I praise and glorify His name for everything that I've been through. Every drop of tears Jesus collects in a bottle and He will reward you for everything that you've been through. Okay? Um, if not in this life, then when you are with Christ in heaven, no suffering goes unnoticed by God. Okay? So, <clears throat> We have scriptures like Psalm 121, 7 that says, The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. Well, there's nothing that can actually harm you for real, like harm who you are, okay? No one can take that away from us. And as the end times come closer, um, we will be attacked for our faith. And we can stand firm in the Lord. It doesn't matter if we get our head chopped off or whatever. Then we're with Christ. We have no fear. No fear of death, no fear even of suffering. Do you know that Jesus is with us? We can access his tangible presence in the middle of physical suffering. So that if Christ is with us, who can be against us? Okay, so um, you are also protected from demonic attacks. And I have another um, uh, video on my prayer channel that gives you instructions on how to overcome the enemy and I will put a link in my blog post for that. Um, God protects people physically all the time but that's not a guarantee that no suffering will happen because of the sinful choices of people on this earth. Um, but God works those things for our good and he redeems us from the pit. Psalm 103, 4. So you are protected. I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching.